Deadly Dresses Today on the Echoes Through Time channel, I bring you a captivating yet unsettling tale from the Victorian era, where fashion and poison collided in a narrative that will leave you both intrigued and disturbed. Picture an era where elegance and style concealed a deadly secret, unbeknownst to society. In the opulence of the Victorian age, fabrics boasted vibrant and envy-inducing colors, captivating all who beheld them. But how were these intense hues achieved? The answer is more chilling than one might imagine. Arsenic, yes. The very poison employed by villains in fictional tales. This poison not only bestowed a stunning array of colors, but also carried a terrifying cost. Workers in textile factories, ignorant of the risks, were daily exposed to arsenic, inhaling its vapors and handling the substance without understanding the peril. The consequences were devastating, Respiratory ailments, skin afflictions, and internal damage plagued many. Yet, the true tragedy emerges when we contemplate those who wore arsenic laden garments. Countless individuals suffered skin irritations, and even poisoning from prolonged contact with these toxic textiles. And arsenic's reach extended beyond fabrics, felt hats, favored by men during the Victorian era, also harbored arsenic. To achieve specific tones and textures in felt hats, arsenic was utilized in the carroting process, where wool underwent treatment with acidic solutions and arsenic salts. Workers in the hat industry faced parallel health hazards. To those in the textile sector, these perils led not only to illness and death, but also to irreparable catastrophes due to the highly flammable materials used in women's dressmaking. Garments crafted from easily combustible fabrics risked igniting upon contact with candles or oils used for illumination. Women, ensnared in cumbersome dresses that hindered swift removal, suffered severe burns and perished in fires. One poignant instance underscoring this danger is the story of Matilda Schur, a mere 19-year-old who toiled in a London hat factory in 1861. Constant exposure to arsenic from dyes and felt treatments inflicted Matilda with painful skin eruptions and respiratory distress, ultimately claiming her life. Despite evident hazards, significant time elapsed before measures were implemented to regulate arsenic usage in textile and hat production. This narrative serves as a stark reminder that even amidst the pursuit of the most exquisite beauty and fashion, a dark and perilous underbelly may lurk. It is imperative to heed this lesson and remain vigilant against concealed risks, even in society's most ostensibly glamorous realms.